The Calgary Police Service is back in the news yet again, this time for three separate incidents. First, the most recent one so far is that an off-duty Calgary Police Service member has been charged with impaired driving following a traffic stop this week. The public has the right to know his name, Constable Timothy Callahan, who has been with the service for six years, was arrested Wednesday after being pulled over in the city southeast, police said they received reports of a potentially impaired driver in the area around 6.40 p.m. on Wednesday, May 23, 2019. Callahan's vehicle was located and he was arrested and charged with one count of impaired driving, in a release, police said Callahan is currently on an unrelated leave of absence from the Calgary Police Service. Also, a nine-veteran Calgary Police Constable is facing charges after an alleged encounter while on the job, Calgary Police said an on-duty incident occurred in the early morning hours of December 13, 2017, when a woman was allegedly injured during the booking process. The public also has a right to know his name as well, Constable Alex Dunn, is facing a charge of assault causing bodily harm in relation to the incident. He is relieved with pay pending further review. The service added the professional standards section undertook an investigation and the file was forwarded to the Edmonton Crown Prosecutor's Office. And finally, the former Chief Constable of the Calgary Police Service is calling on CPS leadership and management to address the ongoing culture issues including harassment, bullying and intimidation within the force. Following a speaking engagement with the Calgary Chamber of Voluntary Organizations on Thursday, former Chief of Police Roger Chaffin reflected on the growing need for open dialogue regarding toxic behavior within the CPS. Holding on to the past, holding on to some historical norms, aren't going to get us anywhere, we have to break free from our past and look for a better strategy into the future. Acknowledging that issues exist, and persist, is a step in the right direction but the CPS needs to improve transparency after several troubling allegations emerged. It needed to be up front and center, it's not something that can be dealt with quietly in the background and somehow hope that no one asks the difficult questions. The former police chief regrets the fact that there were Calgary Police Service members who had unacceptable experiences during his three-year tenure at the helm of the force and admits, in retrospect, there are things he would have done differently. Mark Neufeld, the outgoing chief of the Camrose Police Service, has been selected as the next chief constable of the Calgary Police Service and is scheduled to begin serving in the role in the coming days. The commission announced Monday that Neufeld, a more than 20-year veteran of the Edmonton Police Service, would take over from interim chief Steve Barlow by June. Most recently, Neufeld served as chief of the Camrose Police Service for two years. Neufeld claims that he is proud to call Calgary home and is ready to get to work tackling a number of issues with the service, including low morale and human resources reforms. A police commission survey in November showed more than 75 percent of Calgary police members believe morale is suffering, he will take a people-first approach to improve the service by identifying issues in the organization, including HR reform and the civilianization of some positions, we're talking about a culture change in order to really, meaningfully address morale. While with Edmonton Police, Neufeld said he helped with the civilianization of some investigative and administrative positions, and that practice was well received by the community in Edmonton, he may look to make similar changes in Calgary. Neufeld's appointment followed a lengthy search to replace former Chief Roger Chaffin, who officially retired in January after giving six months' notice, the police service committed to reforms after a report found a culture of bullying and harassment within the force, the sudden resignation of the service's Chief Human Resources Officer just months after being selected for the post also raised questions about turnover in the department. Just to note, Neufeld is also chair of the Alberta Law Enforcement Response Teams, ALERT, Board of Directors, and a member of the Canadian Association of Chiefs of Police Board of Directors, as well as interim president of the Alberta Association of Chiefs of Police and leader of its Women in Policing Committee. Let's hope he sticks to his word and is tough on the service members so he can weed out the corrupt cops within the force and maybe then the Calgary Police Service will finally stop bullying and harassing, not just their own people, but the citizens as well, and maybe finally build a police force that won't be short-handed, and that knows how to police because all these years, and even now, the Calgary Police I feel have not been the smartest and have been the most egotistical and perverted, corrupted people I have ever seen in a police force. Let's hope more charges get laid in the future for these CPS members that did wrong in the past, both off-duty and on-duty, after all, it is about equality and we all pay the same price.